Well, hello, fellow survivor. It's okay, you don't have to tell me. I can tell that you two have been affected by the fungus virus. I can see it behind your eyes. The last of your humanity dwindling, fading away, and in its place, a mushroomy meal waiting to be fried, sautéed, and placed atop a delicious hot dog tree. I'm sorry, I don't really know where I was going with this. Yesterday, we turned this rundown, barely hospitable vault into our home. It's not a comfortable home, but it gives us shelter from the elements, and more importantly, shelter from the virus. And though some gambles were taken to ensure our safety, and more importantly, safe passage out of and into the vault, because we can afford to take some gambles. That's a benefit of living up here in the Arctic when it's a minus 50. Pretty much all year round. All of that knowledge and all of that suffering leading to this moment. Safety in a very cold area. Safety from these hungry, hungry people. And perhaps more importantly than ever, Chef can now wear his gas mask with his chef toque. I should address the elephant in the room. Lots of people pointing out that the embrasures don't actually encase rooms, so they will count as outdoors. Lots of people saying the vault is so cold because it counts as outdoors. Oh, psych, it's been indoors all along. Uh, literally since we moved in. Door right there. That door has been there since the very beginning. Uh, although open doors let through a little bit of cold, admittedly, uh, it's still just this cold because it's <laughs> like minus 40 outside. I will, though, just to put the issue to bed, get Kai to shut this door. That way, when Chef Will rushes in and he has to get to safety being chased by a fungus horde, you can watch him be devoured. Especially given that we spent an entire episode looking for clothes so that they would be fine in this temperature. I do understand the concern. I also understand the confusion comes from the fact there's snow in this bedroom, even though this bedroom has been roofed again since the very beginning. Why is there snow in there? Maybe Mon Tony Montana lived in this vault. A lot of misleading appearance with this vault, but I need you to understand I know what I'm doing. I have 8,000 hours. You need to trust me. Don't trust your eyes. Only trust me. Please buy some Raycons. Links in description. <laughs> I'm not, not actually sponsored by anything. I wouldn't buy that shit, and neither should you. Respect yourself more. So, we are running very low on resources. We're down to our last 400 steel. Of course, we've got to craft a bunch of ammo. And yet, just outside of our walls, three ancient complexes, an ancient biolab. Who knows? Maybe settlements and other such things in these areas that we've revealed but don't know what's there. Maybe they were places that have since been abandoned. More importantly, we're looking for some ruins. I have a kind of a crazy goal today other than just get out into the world and bring back some resources. Since we moved in, there's been a little truck lying around, just waiting for the day that someone will repair it. And we got very lucky that this is the tier three truck. It's the highest tier of vehicle, turned into a big rig, which just happens to carry the most amount of cargo out of any vehicle going. We said maybe the chin up, but I'd assume a big rig carries more. If we claim and attempt to restore that, I mean, it's freezing. You might as well, you're probably safe just to go outside. I'll send it with bodyguard Timon. Tim, we can go and scope the place out. Oh my god, it's a graveyard. <laughs> but anyway, when summer comes, it won't be quite this comfortable for us. Well, it'll be more comfortable for them, I should say. Nobody's comfortable in minus 40. Oh, Tim can do it. Oh, can I go back to work? Never mind. Let's get a tally of what we need. Four engine blocks, my god. Two alternators, five exhausts, seven suspensions. We need... Five wheels, a good 320 steel. Oh, just loads of things. Okay, let's not worry about it too much. We are going to have to go out and get the loot so that we can build the truck so that we can loot more efficiently. And we'll need all the resources we can get to build a lab so that we can start as urgently as possible working on Mariana's cure. And of course, the cure for everyone else here too. Because Kai is so instrumental to everything happening, I'm going to take her off of every job other than the crafting and the research. She's not crafting the tools for our survival. She's back to doing research. Let's give you a chair. I'm feeling particularly generous. I mean, this room is a little cramped, I admit. Not the nicest place to be doing uh, potentially revolutionary world-saving research, but we'll do what we can, I suppose. I was thinking about this when I was editing last episode, by which I mean, uh, Chef Will slept on it and made a, a big realization that these armored doors would make more sense down here. That way, if they are broken, our turrets can still hopefully tidy up whatever's inside. Well, there's no time for billiards or dinner. This is a matter of national security, my friend. Acidic smog. Brilliant. Polluted outside and in. Temperature is absolutely no difference having shut that door. <laughs> Amazing. What the hell happened to Ruffle again? Ruffle! What is your obsession with jumping in piles of corpses? Oh my god, survivors, hello. How you doing? Oh, good job on bringing the gas mask. Very clever idea. Not a full trade caravan, but they do have, oh, medicine. And a cylinder, that's interesting. Lots of ammo. Basically stuff we need for survival, right? Um, yeah, no, I could certainly sell you some weapons, given that we've got, we do have a grenade launcher. You know what? I think I'll keep that one. We'll take the medicine and we'll take the meals, because we are running quite long package survival meals. Thank you, very kind. Welcome to the vault. 
I hope you enjoy your stay here. And I'm going to give Kai a wooden filing cabinet as a gift. It's only 5%, but be some things to brighten this place up. It's quite depressing being in this vault all day, but they don't really have a choice. A couple of plant pots here and there. New lovers. Oh, there's hope. Who is it? Timon and Raffle. Okay, we could have, probably could have seen that coming, given uh, what they did to Chef Will's bed yesterday. I don't quite know where I'm supposed to fit a double bed in this, in this setup we've got going on. I was trying to figure out what do we put in the plant pots, and it turns out there's a very helpful little mushroom. Dare I say it? Something called a bustling fungus. It has 15 beauty. It also lights up, which isn't, you know, massive, but still quite nice to have. The fungus gained remarkable medical properties, alleviating pain and boosting the body's natural regeneration and promoting cell repair. Boy, I sure hope they don't mutate and overwrite the body's cell production entirely. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? These are gonna be the happiest old vault dwellers you've ever seen. Look at that, perfect. Kai's not gonna be happy, given that her bedroom is on the other side of that wall. Ruffle has been very, very helpful. Don't get me wrong. She's been out here slowly, very slowly, starting to remove some of the toxic waste from this. Now, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. I don't know if we're, we're gonna piss someone off, but I have been loading it into the ancient supply slingshot. Partly the reason why I'm not worried, right, is because they're frozen. So we're certainly in no urgency to try and get rid of them. Eventually, I suppose we'll load up the big rig with all the toxic waste packs and just take it out there and dump it in the world away from us. I think the defenses are as good as they're going to get, unfortunately. Now, I wanted to wait for the flamethrower before we head out there because we, we've learned how effective fire is against the fungus people from the amount of buildings I've burned down. The problem is if we wait any longer, of course, any more of these places are going to despawn. We've already lost the lab. So I think we go out there and we hit them immediately, but with Chef Will being so heavily armored, he probably can't carry much back. Which case, maybe we send Kai, Ruffle, and Timon? Even then, they can only carry like 40 kilograms total. Oh my god. Uh, Timon, can you leave some stuff behind? Because this is... This is way too much. He's carrying like a good amount of ammo. We could leave the, the hatchet, sure. Drop that. Leave the steel slag junk. Yeah, we really don't need that one, fella. Stay within a comfortable temperature range. Other than that, try and go as light as possible. Because every kilogram we leave behind is another kilogram we can bring back, huh? And Will's wearing that power armor. So sadly, not really much use there. Okay, let's try this again. Kai Ruffle Timon. Carry back 50 kilograms of steel. That's not a huge amount of steel, sadly. We're only sending one person capable of violence. But if I leave the base undefended... I think at least Will being here. Maybe Will doesn't want to leave Mariana's side. It's so cold out there. Maybe we could even get away with just sending Kai and Ruffle. But I like the idea of having a little bit of backup. You never know if there is a mad animal or something like that. What is that? Bustling spores. Is that from the plants? I certainly hope it's from the plants. The fungus's symbiotic spores are accelerating his body's healing rate and immunity gains people while alleviating pain. That's lovely. That's like really, really good. I'm just not sure the words symbiotic and spores in this particular situation are necessarily a good thing. Maybe I've been fearing the mushroom for too long, and maybe I just need to start embracing it. Because these in a hospital would be actually kind of huge. You get there in 0 0.5 days, so if we need... Oh, why don't we go to that one? Wait, turn around. <laughs> I don't know why I sent them to the one that was much further away. Oh. Shit. Okay, hello there. How you doing? Nice to see you. Wow, they are right there then, huh? Maybe that could be one of our goals, to go and destroy it. Maybe capture as many people as possible. 50 kilograms. Oh my lord, look at this place. With 50 kilograms, they can bring back 100 steel, but maybe we'll find something far more valuable. So this is the ancient complex here. Look at these other buildings, though. Ooh, shit. Okay. Gotta get back into the old habit of taking things nice and slowly for now. Could be anything behind any corner. What about insects? I didn't really think about that. Things do get too dangerous. We can just run and get some steel. Don't you woo at me. Get it, Timon. Okay. We can, worst case scenario, just take back 100 steel and get the hell out. Okay. I met it, crate. That's what we like to see. Let's get that one open first. Synthread, 137. It's not massive. We can make something with that. Another hermetic crate. Come in here. Chem fuel. Don't really need any more chem fuel right now. That's the one thing I don't really want at all. Okay. Uh! <laughs> Stand your ground, Timon. Okay. Oh, this one's good. This one's really nice. Let's get you on that. Kai, it's time to hack. Okay, crack that one open. Uh, there's another ancient fuel node. I'm going to get Timon on that right away just in case it naturally sparks and blows up. You can open that one instead. Come on, there's... Oh, shit. Timon! It's too late. I've lost that one. Okay. So you gained... Oh, Luciferium, though. Oh, uh, well, that's a hard thing to take with us, I think. 
There's so many ancient complexes, we, we might genuinely be able to keep it going. What did the pods have? Glitter? Glitter what? Glitter is... a uh, drug? Crystallized version of the Jade Glint Juices. They control mining court workers at the cost of their health. Oh! Well, I think we're okay, thank you. I don't know if caravanning out for six Luciferum was really worth the time, but we'll poke through some of these buildings and I guess just take back a hundred steel. Then we've got this enormous complex over here. We just need to find some pristine ruins. That would be the real game changer here. What do you people do with these bases? They're just like lunacy. Nothing of value whatsoever. Let's quickly grab a hundred steel then and I guess head back. It was one day travel time for a hundred steel. That's that's totally fine. I really wish I had only sent a couple of people instead though. Great caravanning there squad. Good loot. Ooh, now that is better. Hello, biotech lab discovered. Is it close? No, but probably worth the journey. Lighten the load a tad bit for Chef Will. So hopefully if we send, what do you think? Ruffle, Tim and Chef Will. Leave Kai here by herself. Oh, it's so, so dangerous, but I just don't think we have a choice. Gives us the same carry capacity, but this way Kai can at least carry on with the research, which has taken a long time. The thing about these biotech labs is they might have some of the keys we need to help working on the cure. Wanderer joins Banana. Oh, it was monkeys versus zombies all along. Sure, welcome. Hello. How are you doing? I will happily take anybody in this colony called Banana. 11 mining I like. Animals 8 is no use. Uh, shooting of 6, single passion, intellectual 7. A good backup researcher. You should be fine. They've got plenty of food. Just just walk on by there. 57, though. Oh. Oh! What's with all these old people? How would you survive this long? Jesus. <laughs> it never, never quite gets any less unnerving walking through the fog and suddenly seeing a pile of... pile of corpses. Bunch of undead and them eating one another. Veggie mix. Oh. Okay. You can you can pay tribute to the to the vault. Well, that explains why they're over here then. Oh my god, she's the same ideology. Oh, of course she's the same ideology as Kai. Kai was the only one here. That's just how the game works. It's a little bit it was a little bit strange. It was a little bit strange, admittedly. Maybe though, maybe they know each other from a past life. They're not related or anything like that. In fact, she's rivals with Mariana Linguini, but that's because she Mariana's hideous. They were from the same city before before all of this happened pre-apocalypse. Congratulations, Kai. You are the new leader. And that means you have to be the new chef. I'm sorry, that's how that works. Hello. Desperate refugee named Hornback is approaching. Claims to have lost his home in a recent attack. Begs you permission to stay at Chef's Folly. If you make him happy, he may offer to join you. Uh, I mean, I can't not accept him. Caravan's here. I mean, Hornback isn't. Hornback, are you okay? Guess depart in 6.9 days. Nice. Hey, where is he though? He'll turn up, I'm sure. Ooh, hello there. Okay, wow. My god, look at all of this stuff. Where is the way into the lab, though? It's probably a better question. Down here, here we are. I think it genuinely may be quicker. Yeah, just to punch a hole through this building. Tim, and if you don't mind. Please, please, no horrible mutants. Can we take these? These are nice. Damn. Seems to be producing some faint light. I'm sorry, we can't uninstall it. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Any idea about a cure, though? Because that's really what we're here for. Because we can take back 100 steel pretty easily this time. God, this is frightening. Hello? Okay, we found some gene packs. What is that? What is that right there? Gene remover! Ooh! Capable of removing a random gene from a human target. I mean, removing any of Mariana's genes is a step in the right direction for a cure. It's asking a lot of Kai, okay? Whoa, careful. Suddenly cure this lady. We can give her crab claws. I think we're okay. Suddenly cure Mariana based on no prior research. No, just invent it out of thin air. But with this, being able to study the tools and maybe reverse engineer them, figure them out. This is a good way to justify that. Another gene pack for immune. Interesting. Okay. And then over in here, our final room. Pig ears and slug body. No, thank you. Look at that. There's another hive right there. It's also a prison camp, apparently. Hostile survivors want this destroyed. They give us a psychic sooth pulse. I think I'm good. Why can't we leave? There are enemies in the area. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So there are. Um. Shit, squad. It was, it was like a defendable area. Arguably, probably right here. Stand your ground. Ooh, Jesus. That wasn't what I was expecting. Well. A cut from an infected hand right across his head and his neck. But he did not get infected. Tim and save his life. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. He still needs urgent medical attention. He is not going to turn, but he could still just straight up bleed out on us. Who's the best doctor? Ruffle, congratulations. You saved Will's life. You're really making yourself a place in this colony. Will, stand still, for God's sake. Ruffle, get him. Please get him. He should be fine with five hours left. It's, it's a couple of injuries. Quality zero. We've got to get him back. We have to get him back fast to a crypto sleep suspender. Look, not a great haul purely in terms of resources, but I absolutely love this as a story element. Now we have a real justification for Kai being able to work on that cure quickly. Ooh, shit. That is a lot of active. Oh, it's only minus 11 degrees now. Our window for... Ah! For getting out there and doing a bit more scavenging is, is getting thinner and thinner by the day. Ruffle gave Chef Will a grass crown as a gift. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I've got a better question. Where the hell did you get grass from? Now, if you're pardon the pun, we finally have some real firepower on our hands. Then I think all we need is basic vehicles to be able to restore the big rig because that unlocks all of the various different vehicle components. I think the subsequent research only give us... I think they only give us the actual vehicle unlock itself. One tenth of our total remaining steel on this flamethrower. A couple with the facts, of course, we're going to have to make some ammo for that. You stay away. Get the hell out of here, you little weirdos. Okay, uh, I don't think it'll be necessary, but Chef Will, if you could just give the turrets a hand. As expected, they are going for the door, but we were able to get them away from that. Holy, holy shit. Um... Right, okay, I, I, we, we might be in a little bit of trouble here. Are we going on that flamethrower, though? Kai, Kai, keep going, keep going. Uh, Timon? Timon? Oh, they've all gone berserk. Timon, 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 Timon. Banana, what have you got? What the hell am I going to do with a little sawn-off shotgun? You need, like, an actual, a slightly more long-distance weapon. What about the grenade launcher? Totally out of ammo. That's unfortunate. Um, right, this is fine. Is it fine? Are you shooting? Oh, it's out of ammo. Um, Ruffle, you can't do anything besides refuel, if you don't mind. Give you actually access to this area. Waffle's gonna rearm. Timon's gonna come down. Timon, no pressure. Oh, this is such a pain in the ass with this hive mind. Because even though all of them weren't hostile, the second we gun down a few of them, that's all it takes. Timon, get behind Will. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. Uh, now, uh, um, immediately rearm it again. Oh, my steel. Oh, my precious sweet steel. <laughs> At least the snowman survived. <laughs> this is chaos. Timon reached level 6 in shooting, though, which is quite nice. Did that say Sheev? Sheev! There he is! Seems like the rest have calmed down? Maybe they were too far away when it immediately kicked off. Well, that was good. It was a great time. Thank you, squad. Timon, are you really going out there? Although we could go and have a look and see if things are... Things are fine. They seem to have calmed down a lot. Now we've just got a massive amount of bait right outside the front door. What was that? I don't know, but they seem to have they seem to have settled down again. I think that one started hunting Timon and then decided actually I'd rather eat one of the horrible rotten creatures on the floor. It's interesting they don't refuel with ammo, but I get it. So that's just gonna cost us more steel again. Please be careful going out there. I can't keep an eye on all these bloody people at once. Kai, how's that flamethrower coming along, my friend? Kai, 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 come back. Waste us from the fungoid hive and have given up and are leaving. Hold on. Oh, shit. Were they sapping us again? No, no, no. That's a wall that we've taken out. I didn't realize there were still technically raiders on the map. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had Ruffle running around getting more bloody steel. Are you working on the ammo now? Will. Will, go and get that flamethrower. Do it for Mariana. And we'll give Banana the chain shotgun. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get away from my vault, you big bitches. Affected by viral buildup, initial, and aggression spawns. Here, get away from my front door. Don't light yourself on fire there, chef. Amazing. Absolutely superb. Okay, let's give them a little time off, and then I think we need to take uh, the opportunity that we've been given here, which is almost all of them dying or on fire, to get out there. Send the whole damn squad and bring back as many resources as possible. I would love to start work restoring that truck very, very, very soon. Yes, I did accidentally start sending Mariana with the caravan. I'm well aware. Go back, Mariana. You'll be fine. Bloody walrus again. It's always the same walrus. I love you, blessed walrus, but this is not the series to be getting a new pet mascot, I don't think. Hello? Oh, God, there are mechanoids in here. It's all looking quite clear so far. It's all totally fine. Wowie. Oh, shit. Uh, it is concrete, so we can probably just ignore it. Everything's fine. Wow. How boring. 
Crate number one, we've got nine Neutroamine. Wowee. And then in box number two, we have... <gasps> what the fuck? What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, that was, um... Tremendously unexpected. Oh, Chef, it matches your hat. Oh, Chef. Timmy can have the marine armor. And then I guess Banana, being the only other co person capable of violent, can take the the flat clothing. And I guess we'll just scrounge up enough steel for, like, run down things, things that are broken down. Outdoor lamp. Hey, someone's built a nice city here. Comms console. Whoa, comms console. Carry it back. We can't. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, there's quite a few of them we can take apart. Wow, this base was quite advanced. Pod launchers. Can't take those apart either. Oh, bollocks. I'm going to have to have a proper look around this base because they have some really... What the hell? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. If I reform the caravan, can we just pick up furniture that you can't normally uninstall? I'm going to have to try it. Please. Please let me take the hydroponics. Oh, let's just type it in. Hydro... Nothing. Oh, damn you. Let's do more exploring. This place is quite advanced, and I want to see if we've got... I look down here. There's got to be something of value, you know? So it, only, it might only spawn buildings in just regular ruins. And then the pristine ruins are the ones that we could potentially get items from. I'm sure just with that alone, we've got more than enough stuff to carry back. As a, who bought granite blocks? You're not allowed to go on a caravan anymore. Okay, 500 steel potentially. You're probably not going to be able to carry that. Take the new training. Take the components because they weigh next to nothing. Um, travel supplies, nothing. Weapons power, nothing. Textiles, rarely used, nothing. Take the rice back as food. Sure, why not? And then... 145 steel. Again, not enormous. Hornback, thanks you for allowing me to stay at Chef's Folly for seven days. Hornback, my friend, you are very welcome. Oh, God. Okay, just give him a wide berth. There's another map there, too. Thank you. Good point. How many passive things have we picked up here? We've actually only got one map in the stockpile. Eight industrial technology blueprints and ten spacer blueprints. Oh, you know what? Let's go high priority. I've, I've already lowered the cleaning pollutionary trying to get these rooms sorted. Clear out this room. Take the basketball hoops out. I turn it into a stinky basketball court, okay, to keep them happy. Get those out of there and turn this into a proper dedicated research lab. That will also give us, um, uh, what are they called? Trade beacon? Sorry, I'm a little, a little distracted because I just noticed that, uh, not only are their beds pushed right up against the same wall, there's a bloody vent there too. Sorry, yeah, no, this will give us a trade beacon. I understand that, you know, you can't reinstall really Lex's core part of progression. It'll be a big unlock for the city if we can secure an outside area properly. I think this is a good start, but to actually get something solid down that will let us that will let us trade with the outside and, again, build some transport pods of our own would be fantastic. Kai, let's read this map. Let's see if we can find something out there. Location Temezuan. Temezuan. Brilliant. It's really, it's really good. One of these, I presume. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, great. Perhaps maybe more importantly, let's crack out some blueprints here. Sprinklers. Oh, that's not bad, given that we are... We always seem to be quite low on food, even though we're growing non-stop rice. Uh, sprinklers again. Oh, great. Thank you. Great. Flak armor. Okay, that one could actually be kind of useful. Sprinklers again. Is that a bug? Smart toilets. Maybe it's more likely to target research that you've already started but not finished. Mending is good, though. And basic electronics. Nice. Oh, my God. How close? Oh, it's pretty close. We've got to do it. We have to send it. It's a pristine ruins. We've got to go. It's somewhere in this direction. 1.1 days. I think we've got enough food to last us now or not. What keeps happening to all this food? I mean, I understand they're eating it. Right, like I was saying, send the meals. Send everyone, not Mariana. Send everyone. Still doesn't give us much bloody carry weight. Okay, leave that here. Leave that here. It's 40 grams. It's probably not really that relevant. Tim, and what are you carrying? Shit, loads of wood. I need to get the squad ready to head out. Because they, they, they've just got no carry capacity at all. At the rate we're going, we're not going to be able to get any resources until we build the truck. And at the speed we're going to build the truck, we're going to be here forever. But only that muffalo didn't die. There we go. Okay, now we can carry a good amount. Bring the meals. Go. Go fast. I, I think with these ruins, as I recall, the longer we leave them, the worse the stuff gets. Hello? Hostile survivors right there. These are the ruins. Are these the pristine ruins? Wealth low? Maybe they are? Yeah. Yeah, that's them, okay. All right, well, let's go and have a look. Wealth low doesn't inspire much infested city opportunity. No. No, there's an infested city over there. We, we could go and have a look at that, too. I, I think we've already had a lot of infested cities during the, uh, during the early days. Well, I suppose it also means we've got a lot of experience in infested cities. Okay. It's 47 graves. 
40. Wow, how big is this map? Oh my god. 47 graves. We've got some people already here. What, picking through the ruins? What are they? Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, brilliant. Okay, uh, are we are we good? Are we good, though? We're good. We're good. We'll stick together. Are these the ruins down here? What if we just, like, totally sidestep them? Let them deal with the undead. Let them deal with the fungus zombies. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot, though. Uh, wow. Okay, stand your ground. We can split the loot. In fact, there might not be any of them left if we don't hurry up. Shit. Wow. Why are they... They ran right past them. They ran right past the other people. Chef, put that flamethrower to work, my friend. Kill them all. Oh, my God. I know I said kill them all. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that our... The, the, the hostile survivors. Come on. Kill it. Oh, wow. There are, there are a lot. Oh, wow. There are a lot. Maybe I've bitten off more than we could choose. Start moving back to the edge of the map. We might have made a horrible, horrible mistake here. God damn, Chef's gonna burn through all of his ammo before we've even started. Chef, no more running and gunning. Area is safe, is it? Is it though? I feel like coming to ruined settlements and expecting, expecting to just grab some loot without also expecting, ah shit. A bunch of enemies is probably a terrible idea. I assume we've still gotta be fast because they're gonna keep spawning back in. I mean, unexpected, but cool. What is that, SMG? Sword off shotgun, lots of, uh, of ammo. Which I presume we could just reform the caravan and claim. Because they're just on the floor now. Let's go and see the ruins themselves. Just stick together. Oh, really? Marriage is on. Ruffle, will you marry me? You know what? I can't hate it. Their life probably flashed before their eyes when they saw that horde of 20 or so fungus people climb through the fog. Area is now safe again. Isn't that strange? I thought the area was safe before. And yet, yet there seems to be more of them. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Okay, what was that? Oh, it's more survivors. Okay. Let's pick through these ruins then, I guess. See what we can find. Hello? I was promised some wealth from this. What the hell is that? Oh, an ideology room. Oh, that's nicely decorated. Well done. We've got a bathroom. Oh my god, there's people here. Just like actual people. Area is now safe again. Really does me a concern. These bedrolls would be good for caravanning. What am I looking for? Oh, bananas ran off. Banana, what are you doing? She's eating gore. Why are you eating gore? Is this a prison complex? My God. And then we've got uh, 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 someone is crashing. Whatever. We'll worry about that later. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find much in the way of loot there. Okay, let's check this big room up here if we can get in. Nothing. Research bench. An art bench. Nothing. Okay, what about this one? Might as well pop around the corner, given that we're here. This does look like a big old prison complex, doesn't it? Look at this place. You know, for a place that's supposedly safe. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Just don't worry about it. Wow, there is nothing here at all. So much for there being loot. So much for there being some wealth. We can't even leave because there are enemies in the area. This has just been a tremendous waste of time. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to remember that uh, life outside the vault absolutely sucks. I think we just cut our losses and get out. It was pathetic. That was terrible. That was awful. Out of food. Really? We packed eight meals. We weren't there for that long. I just want to quickly buzz by this so-called infested city. Because, I mean, if there's wealth there, we could come back. Look at that. Infested city. Time left. Ten days. Okay, go back to the vault. Get some food. Put your feet up for a couple of days. Reload the ammo, more importantly. A gunfire again. Oh, good. Hello. How you all doing? Hungry, I would assume. I think we might have to bite the bullet and say, hold fire. Just permanently on the turrets because we are, we are, we're grinding through steel as fast as we're getting steel. It's just totally unsustainable. We can't get out there and caravan fast enough and bring back more stuff than we are burning through it. New, new lovers. Banana and Kai. Fine. Fine, I, I can make two bedrooms work, no problem. If we could turn this into one big bedroom, and then maybe, maybe like this into one big bedroom. <laughs> 110 steel left. On the plus side, look, we've got gold ore. We've got plenty of compacted machinery. There has to be some steel in the mountains somewhere. And we just happen to be very fortunate that we have this absolute legend of a miner in Timon. Ooh! A supply kit is touching down nearby. Where? I saw it just floating on the map, but I'm not sure where it went. Somewhere in the fog of war. It's a trade from another vault and won't contain items of equal value. I have some terrible news. I've only ever blasted them toxic waste packs. They sent back toxic waste packs. Thank you. How kind. How much did he get? 1,000 steel. Oh, Timon. 
Oh, the legend that is Timon. And we got more regular cargo pods. And there's apparently a trader. No, by all means, let yourself in. Uh, consuming sturgeon. Was that what landed in the cargo pod then? Uh, oh, hello. More toxic waste packs. Oh, how kind. Uh, yeah, no, that's what dropped in those cargo pods there. Really, we could do with trying to get to those first. Do you think we'll get there quick enough? Will, where are you? But banana's pretty close. Oh, God. Okay, no, never mind. Never mind. They're gone. They're gone. Grab what you can. Run. No, trade caravan, though, is very nice. Have you got any steel? Because, my God, if you've got some steel, we're about to be best friends. Hello there. Steel, steel, steel. My God, they sell everything but bloody steel. Look at this. Look at this crazy shit you've got. I mean, to be fair, some plast steel probably wouldn't hurt. We'll sell them the gene packs because they're only going to rot anyway. We could sell them some space and technology bonus because we're not using that many. Although, to be fair, we've got a lot of plast steel as well. Um... I, I really just need steel, actually, car radiator, car fuel tank. Whoa, 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 whoa. I will take those. And you know what? Let's take a telescope and an old computer. Bit of recreation, too. Thank you. My God, we're actually going to be closer to this than I expected. Car fuel tank. One of two. And then what was that? The... What did we pick up then? The radiator, I think. Am I at least doing well by my people? That's the real question. Are, are they at least happy? No. No, they were happier in the abandoned city. People have got too comfortable here. I'm telling you. You want to be back there, huh? Where behind every corner there could have been a, a lurching fungus monster. Where your bedroom walls were smashed down on a whim by some horrible monster trying to eat you. Where an, an enormous flaming thrombo tried to murder you. Needy, needy people. How are we doing for colony wealth? 450,000 doesn't really count, of course, because it's all floors and vault walls and the shit that we just happened to stumble across. What have we learned today? We've learned that out there are tools to potentially cure... The fungoid people. We found a gene remover, and that's a good start. We've also learned that going out raiding is, uh, is a pretty slow, but at least consistent way of getting resources, right? Of course, Chef Will got a sick new set of armor. Here's the thing. I think tomorrow... This is, this is, a, big, this is a big thing to suggest, because we are so close to getting basic vehicles, and I assume that's all we need just to be able to build the various different components. I think we could get that big rig operational. It might need a lot more scrounging. You know, we might have to send the whole squad out to the abandoned cities and the, and the ancient complexes just to pick up some more stuff. We could we could go butt naked. You know, just take as much clothing as possible to avoid the uh, avoid the cold and, of course, guest master with the toxic fallout. Drop everything else and bring back as much steel as we can in one go. But, I mean, with the thousand steel Timon just bought in, I mean, we could swap out the steel tables, the chairs, the beds, the end tables for all of these bricks that we've been scrounging up for ages. I'm going to commit to the idea right now. We're getting the big rig. Sure, it's no ice cream truck, but my god, what a game changer that would be to go from having almost nothing to scrounging up to barely have enough meals to get by to uh, enough resources to build all the hydroponics, all the defenses, everything we can need. The vault is slow going. It's very, very slow, and there's very little we can do, but they're safe, damn it. And they're, they're safe, and we've got to take this slowly, because if I, if I rush in like I normally do, max speed everything, someone's going to get eaten. And I'm going to feel terrible. Thank you for joining me tomorrow. I fully expect things will pick up in pace. Literally. Because, of course, we're going to have the big truck. Thank you to the executive producer patrons for making the series possible in the first place. Cyberpunk over on the second channel if you're interested in that. It's a, it's a total whatever series. It's just another gap filler over on the second channel. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Thank you to Ghosty, King Snitch Gaming, Dune, Snozza, VC Brain, Lady Jade, Bomberline, Noira, Vladislav Lazarov, Razorback, Peter Sarossi, Overly Expressive, Deadly, Black Belt, Basic Dev, and Ophelia Bolzich for their support as the final names on my October list. Thank you for being here. And tomorrow, it's truck time.